Hey everyone, welcome back to Queen's the Appetite. Today we are making a Caribbean classic sorrel drink. If you grew up in a Jamaican family like I did, there's a 99% chance you've already tried this and know just how bomb it is. My grandmother doesn't measure anything, but with her guidance, I was able to put together my own recipe. So keep watching if you want to learn how to make this refreshing Caribbean Christmas drink. All right, so we're gonna start with our sorrel. I just went to my local West Indian store and found a package of dry sorrel. Each package is a 100 grams and had about five cups of sorrel. So I used two packages for a total of 10 cups. Here's how it looks, a beautiful dark red. You're gonna wanna wash this in a bowl of water and rinse three times to make sure you get rid of any dirt and then set it aside. Now for our ginger, I'm using a pound of ginger that I've washed and dried. I'm gonna use this side of a grater and grate all my ginger. Doing this will help extract a lot more flavor and make our sorrel stronger. Remember guys, I have all of the ingredients and measurements listed in the description below. I also linked to my blog post where I included the detailed written recipe and some variations you guys can use to add different flavors to this drink. Here is our sorrel, nice and cleaned and beautiful. And here is our grated ginger. Our two main ingredients are ready to go, so let's start making our sorrel. Bring a large pot of water to a boil. I'm using 20 cups of water in a 7.3 quart Dutch oven. I'll leave a link to all the tools I used in the description below. Once the water begins to boil, add your grated ginger and let it boil for about 10 minutes. You can also add a cinnamon stick or a handful of cloves here if you want, but we're keeping things simple today. After 10 minutes, we're gonna add our sorrel and let it boil for three to five minutes. And then once the sorrel is done boiling, cover your pot and move it to steep on the countertop for a minimum of two days or a maximum of five days. The longer you let it steep on the counter, the better the flavor will be, but don't let it steep for too long. Don't go over five days because then the sorrel will be far too strong. So I let mine sit for three days. And this is what it looks like after three days. Now it's time to strain it. I have a cheesecloth over an extra large bowl here, and I'm just gonna scoop in the sorrel a bit at a time and strain it through the cloth. I strained it three times, so after I did this, I then strained it through a fine mesh strainer um, two more times. And here's what it looks like, nice and clear as it should be. Now we're gonna sweeten our sorrel with some sugar. Um, you could use white sugar or brown sugar. You could even use like maple syrup or honey, but I'm gonna use white granulated sugar today. Now, my recipe says four and a half cups of sugar. You may think that's too much, it's not too much. It was the perfect amount for the amount of sorrel that I had. However, I don't recommend you just throwing in all of that sugar at once. I recommend you gradually add your sugar, maybe half a cup to one cup at a time. Stir it around, stir it good, or else it's gonna float to the bottom, and then taste it. And then keep gradually adding sugar a little bit at a time until it's perfect for you because everyone has different taste so you may need to add less or more than I did but just sweeten it to your liking 
Now you can serve the sorrel plain like this, or you could add a little extra extra. Here I have a bottle of Jamaican white rum, along with a bottle of Red Label wine and Jamaican ginger beer. Now the ginger beer is what my grandmother always adds to her sorrel. I never liked it. Oh my God, I hope she's not watching. But I never liked it because I thought it was too strong. The ginger flavor was too strong. However, everyone else who's tried it just loves it. So I'm showing it to you as an option that you could use for your sorrel. But today I'm only gonna be using the white rum and the red label wine. Now the amount you use depends on how boozy you want your drink to be. If you want this to be an alcoholic adult drink, then add, I don't know, a cup of both. That might be too much. I don't know. I don't drink alcohol. So but again, do it like you did the sugar and add a little bit at a time and then taste it. And then stop when it's to your liking. However, for me, I only added six tablespoons of each and I found that perfect. And now it's time to bottle this all up. I just put a funnel over my jugs to easily pour in the sorrel. Now do this if you plan on serving it within the next few days. But if you plan on preserving it for a lot longer, then pour some dried rice into the bottom of your bottle. And then pour in the unsweetened sorrel on top. However, if you make the sorrel and you add alcohol, then you don't need any rice because the alcohol will preserve it on its own. Now let your sorrel sit in the refrigerator overnight because sorrel is best served chill. And there you have it, a beautiful glass of Jamaican sorrel drink. My grandmother is so proud of me for finally learning how to make this myself after years of watching her make it. And this sorrel has been highly praised by multiple Jamaican family members, which should tell you a lot because Jamaicans do not play with their sorrel. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love by hitting that like button and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you for the next recipe.